Hey everybody, Jam Creates here, doing another video. This time I'm doing another old school comics video. Uh, I'm digging through my boxes again. I came across this one, thought it might be fun to talk about. So this is Thor number 500 from July 1996. Um, some of you out there watching this may not have even been born yet when this came out. Um, I had already graduated high school. <laughs> anyway... Uh, you can see right here, they, they're hyping it, you know, a Marvel first fantastic 500th issue. And you can see this cover with Thor and Enchantress, double-sized issue. And then they did something here. They don't really do as much. I don't see a lot of these anymore, but it's a gatefold. You know, well, not a gatefold. It's a double-sided cover. So you got the cover, wraparound cover on both sides. You got the Frost Giants, the Trolls, and Thor and the Enchantress on the front. Cool cover. Fun. Uh, exciting. And what really actually got me super excited is when I opened it up and I was like, oh snap, this is on, uh, this is on newsprint. So as, as 1996, they were still doing newsprint. Um, you can see this issue was done by, uh, William Messner Lowe's, uh, Loeb's, Mike Diodato Jr. did the art. Um, and then there's an interesting thing when you get to, as you go down, Malibu, Computer Separations. So this was after Marvel, per Marvel, Marvel. This was after Marvel purchased Malibu, simply because of their computer uh, prowess. They had certain techniques, and Marvel wanted them, so they bought them. Um, and you can see Bobby Chase was the editor. Uh, she's one of the females in comics that people like to ignore existed. And Bob Harris, editor in chief. Um, I remember Bob Harris being editor in chief for quite a long time. Um, so anyway. Into the story, um, you know, it's a fun story. It's, uh, we start out, Thor's just returned to Asgard, and it's in shambles. Uh, the whole place is just, like, completely destroyed, and he's like, what the heck happened here? And then he gets attacked. Um, basically, it's actually kind of funny. He's, like, looking at everything. He's like, oh, what's going on? What happened? What could have done this? Whack! He gets clobbered in the head by a rock. Um, and the trolls are like, yeah, we're gonna eat good tonight, baby. And then he gets up and just, like, starts kicking their butts. Um, and, um, he really goes to town on this one. I mean, he almost, he, to me, he looks like Sabretooth here. Just, if they would have given him a fang, a canine, he would have looked like Sabretooth. Um, this was the shirtless Thor era, by the way. Uh, that was his costume, was to not have a shirt on. Kind of weird, whatever. Um, but he, uh... Beats the crap out of these two trolls, and then he hears the sounds of slavery, uh, which is banned in Asgard. And then when he looks closer, he notices the Kool-Aid Man. No. Uh, <laughs> when he looks closer, he notices that one of the slaves is actually Doctor Strange. And he's like, what is going on? So now he's going to try and rescue Doctor Strange. We've got this cool ad here, by the way, too, for Marvel Comics putting the character back in comics. And it's a cool picture of Domino. Um, you know, it just... Uh, uh, they just don't do that anymore. I don't know. And then, here's this is pretty cool. This is something you really don't see every day. Dun, dun, dun. What? It's a double page, but it's vertical. So you've actually got to turn the comic to read this. Now, in all honesty, there really was no reason for this to go this way. Um, they could have told this story over two regular pages, but it was cool. <laughs> you know, it was something special. It's something they don't do very often. Um, and it was definitely something that, you know, for a, a special issue, like a 500th issue. I mean, it was, it was neat. It was cool to have something really kind of unique. It makes you turn the comic on its side to read the page. And it's cool. It's definitely cool. Um, so he frees, you know, he fights them. He frees Doctor Strange. The rest of the dudes just run away, except for this one old guy who's like, nah, I'll stay. I'm probably gonna die anyway, so it's all good. I'll help you out. And then, um, Doctor Strange tells the story of how he came to be there, and it was the Enchantress who called him, and they got sucked in there, and she's there too somewhere, but they don't know where. Turns out, well, here we go. We find out where she is. She's talking to the Frost Giants. And the Frost Giants are like, what? She's like, I could help you. And she's like, they're like, um, yeah, you're like a tiny little nothing. The one guy, he actually says, um, yeah, like, he's like, 
She's like, I have no loyalty to, to an Asgard filled with trolls. Perhaps I can help. And he's like, help? Thou art tiny and soft. Thou wilt hardly survive being a party favor at the victory celebration. And she's like, now there's an image. Brr. <laughs> like, <laughs> just some funny stuff. There's Enchantress looking good. Um, the Frost Giants look mad cool too. Uh, there's some other stuff going on, clearly. I mean, this was part of a, a story that was sort of ongoing, but it's also the start of a new story. So there's some stuff that happens that you're just kind of like, if you weren't reading or if you don't know the characters, you'd probably be kind of like, wait, who is that? Why are they doing this? What's going on? But the rest of it is easily just jumped into and read, even if you know nothing about the rest of it, um, which is cool. That's That's how, if you're going to do an ongoing series that's going to reach 500 issues... You've got to have, you know, every issue has got to be, especially a milestone issue, has got to be something that people can jump onto if they've never read it before. Because you know people are going to buy who've never bought that book before just because it's a special number and they'll be like, oh, maybe I'll check it out, you know. So the Frost Giants attack because the trolls have already taken over Asgard. So now there's a giant uh, lunch and munch. Um, and then the Frost Giants and... The trolls are fighting, and Thor is actually fighting on the side of the trolls because Asgard is already, like, completely destroyed as it is. But, of course, the Enchantress is actually working with the the, uh, the Frost Giants. So it's an interesting... It, it's a fun little battle. This whole thing is just, like, ridiculous. Like, honestly, this is probably the worst page in the book, quite frankly. Like, the trolls roll up on her, and she's like, Officer Kim Gaunt, NYPD, boys, and you're busted. And they're like, she's insane, crush her. And she's still, like, trying to arrest them. She's, like, up against the wall and spread them. And then she shoots, and they just, like, run away because they're scared. And she's still like, you have the right to remain silent. Like, clearly she is insane. Like, let's be honest. That's what you're saying? And also, what is she looking at? Why is she looking this way when she's shooting that way? Just weird, a little nitpick, but it definitely, like, got my attention. Um, so there's this whole story of this sword, and they need to get it back. So Odin can take his place back on the throne of Asgard, and they can bring it back. And then they they see the, th the sword, and Thor tries to take it, and it falls apart. And um, it crumbles, but then it turns out he's, he got his power back, so he brings the hammer back and he's ready to go and now he just like he goes all out he brings he brings the ha he brings the hammer down let's say and um just wipes out the frost giants gets them out of there um and of course the question is when he did that did he also take out enchantress um so that's where we're, where we're at there you know and then they give you a um a little quiz a Thor quiz about this history. Uh, they talk about his different costumes, um, which is funny because, again, this is his current costume as far as this issue, which is literally just a pair of pants. That's his costume. <laughs> He's like, I just don't wear a shirt anymore. Um, and then they give you, like, a family tree for Odin. It's some interesting stuff. It's cool to have something like that in, like, a bunch of facts about the hammer and everything else. Um... You know, which is, which is kind of cool to have in, like, a special issue like this where, you know, it's an anniversary. And then, of course, we have our, our letters page. Um, and then, you know, we, um, you know, so it's, it's typical, you know, but it's fun that they put, they added, like, some extras in there at the end of the issue. It was definitely cool. Um, and I just, I really enjoy, like, when they have stuff like this like this right here you know that's something special a fold out it's vertical it's something different so it's a fun issue i mean if you could get a hold of it or if you have it laying around in a box somewhere i would certainly recommend pick it up and read it it's a quick read even for a double size issue it reads really quickly because there's just a lot of action and it just keeps moving um and there's there's good there's high stakes and there's like confusion and it's definitely setting up a good story and and you know, there's the mystery of ha what happened to Asgard. It's definitely cool. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. I mean, if you got a chance, I would say definitely check it out. Um, if you could find it somewhere. I mean, if you have, like, Marvel Unlimited, it's probably on there. Um, but if you could find the old issue, this is really fun. 
like honestly just being able to read a you know an issue where you got to turn it vertically and read is, is a cool thing uh so that's it this is my uh my video about thor issue 500 um it was fun to read old school comics still good because they were good the first time so they're still good now uh so that's it uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit the uh subscribe please to subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications and follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates. And I will talk to you again soon. Peace.